This is what's left of the largest public hospital in Port-au-Prince. What used to be their front yard is now a makeshift morgue. The old courtyard at General Hospital is now the trauma unit. We stopped counting patients at 300. Dislocated shoulder with a broken arm. More than 300 stories of pain and suffering and one trauma doctor. How are you supposed to take care of hundreds of people by yourself? Well, that's what we're trying to do right now. I'm here at the end everywhere. Dr. Tyrone Gill is from Jamaica. He flew in late Tuesday. How long have you been a doctor? Um, seven years now. How does this compare to anything else you've seen? Nah. This is like a war zone. With no sleep and few supplies, Dr. Gill has been forced to make difficult choices. By the time they bring someone here, you have to amputate. Yeah. Because of gangrene, they Because there's, access is very difficult as well. There's no, uh, to get here is a, is a problem. Slowly, trained medical personnel from around the globe are trickling into the country and doing what they can. This Boston-based charity set up a triage center a couple of hours outside of Port-au-Prince. Those who can make it here get bandages, x-rays, and pain medication. The U.S. government sent 300 medical personnel to Haiti today and has placed 12,000 more on alert for possible deployment. Doctors Without Borders has 800 personnel on the ground and is trying to get 80 more into the country. Many Haitians are trying to make it to their own border. Their neighbors in the Dominican Republic have offered free medical assistance. And for those who can't make it to the medical help, all they can do is sit and wait and hope. Port-au-Prince has long been a series of shanty towns. Today, with too few hospitals and too many roads like this, virtually impossible to pass. Many of the sick, the injured, the hungry are virtually trapped in communities like this. But they don't complain. They improvise. At Union Baptist Church, a local healer tried to mend a broken arm with ointment. <laughs> Meanwhile, the sick, the injured, sing. God will help us, the old hymn goes. Many here believe it's the only help they've gotten so far. Tonight we've learned Doctors Without Borders will have an inflatable hospital here in 24 hours. And Katie, that means they'll be able to perform all kinds of surgery, something desperately needed here.